we think when we're vulnerable, people will perceive us as weak. Mm -hmm. But when we're vul vulnerable, that's when people are like, wow, you're so strong. Yeah. Vulnerability and transparency, I think both of those, have become a very like buzzword type topic, especially on social media, um, almost to the extreme. <clears throat> and, and everybody loves talking about being vulnerable and transparent until it comes time for them to be vulnerable and transparent. Uh, I think everyone loves talking about how there's this lack of transparency and vulnerability in social media until it's time for them to be vulnerable and transparent on social media. Like, that's, this is kind of, it's rampant. I'll talk about all this, all these struggles I went through once I've gotten on the other side and really figured it out and really yep. figured out the way to position it to make me look freaking awesome. Yeah. Like, like, there's no, there's no nobility in that. Like, like telling the, the bad stuff when you've got the good story to, to make you look good from it. Right. Like, it's being willing to tell the bad stuff and say like, I don't have the rest figured out yet. Perfection doesn't make us human. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the flaws. Yeah. It's the imperfections that make us human. So what do we need to connect on with other people? The human side of us. Mm -hmm. So the idea of vulnerability, the idea of admitting weakness is the bridge to connection. Yeah. Because that's what you can empathize with. And then everybody says, oh, you're so strong. I saw that gap and I saw the lack of vulnerability and transparency. And so I became vulnerable and transparent, but in the beginning it was as like a tactic. Like it was just like a tool. Like I knew I needed to stand out and in order to make an impact, I needed to be transparent. And so it was more like just like using this tool of vulnerability rather than being like truly, truly vulnerable. And even, even going into like the 100th episode of the, of the daily uh, vlog that we were doing, and we decided to you know, do this very simple episode of me just sitting in front of the camera and it said alcoholic across it. And I talked about the fact that over these 100 episodes that I had been talking about all these different things and doing all this different stuff and they never even discussed the fact that 20 days prior to starting the vlog, I'd quit drinking and that it had been since December of last year and had that sip of alcohol. And even in that moment, I remember uh, Sean Whalen, um, who you guys know, he, um, he messaged me after, after we released that episode. He was just like, so what'd you think about the, uh, about the 100th episode? I was like, man, it felt great. Like, it felt good, put that out there. He's like, yeah, he's like, I think you're full of it. And I was like, I got offended like, at first. And honestly, I didn't really truly understand what he meant by that until like going through this first chapter of the book and understanding that I was still using it as a tool. Like I was still using vulnerability as just a way to get a message out and hopefully get it out better to reach more people. But it, I think that was the transition from, and we talk about a lot with the first time task force, like the transition from going to my head and my heart and truly being transparent and vulnerable just for the sake of not as a tool but as a way to give other people the audacity to do the same. And the conversations I've had since then have been unbelievable.